Some PC players are reporting crashes when Fortnite loads instantly. It won't even launch. And I'm going to go through and show you how to fix this because Epic has let us know on Fortnite status how to resolve the issue. And I'm going to pass it on so you can get back in the game. It's going to be very frustrating if you can't get in. So let's just jump in and get right in there and show you what's going on. So when you open up the Epic Launcher, you'll be here. We want to go ahead and choose Library. And then you'll see Fortnite here. You can click on the three dots. It'll show you how long you've even played. 102 days, that's a long time. And there will be an option for Verify. Now, Verify is going to take some time, but it should resolve your issue. Let's go ahead and hit Verify, see what happens. It's initializing and it's verifying. For me, it may go quicker. They have recently reduced the size of Fortnite dramatically. It used to be almost 100 gigs and now it's just under 30 gigs. Shout outs to them for that because my PC loves you for that. So much more space. That will help the process go faster and also allow more people to use the, pro the game because it's going to work and fit on more computers. So as you can see, it's going through here. It's not taking real, real long. I do have a fast PC though. So we're just going through and what it's doing is it's looking at its files and making sure everything's up to date and everything is correct. Sometimes when an update comes out, maybe a file didn't get updated correctly or something got missed. Maybe it wasn't set right by them. And by going through and verifying, it'll go and make sure that everything is exactly how it should be. So we'll just give it this moment and wait till it gets set here and then we'll launch and make sure we're good. This has started happening with this release of update, but in the future, this video can definitely be relevant. If this wouldn't resolve your issue, the next step would be to uninstall, click the three lines, uninstall, restart your computer, come back and reinstall it. So let's go ahead and launch, see if we can get that going. Make sure we're all updated and good to go. How are you enjoying Fortnite right now? I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm glad Four Nightmares is over though because I, I had enough of that. <laughs> I'm ready to get back to the normal stuff. I see jetpacks are in the game now. But that's going to be interesting, I guess. <laughs> Here it comes. Let's make sure it doesn't crash. And we can get into the game. Before I install uninstall it, I would try a restart of the computer just to be safe. Sometimes that can just take care of it as well. Let's go to start at the bottom corner, shut down and restart. Boom, there we are. We are back in Fortnite, no crashes at all. So hopefully this helped. If you know someone is having this problem, please share it. That way they can get in and you can play together. At times you could have other issues on your computer as well. Maybe your performance isn't running well or you are just not loading correctly. If you're on PC, I'm gonna show you a quick word from my sponsor to get those issues fixed. With no ping, it's easy. You can go ahead and get better FPS and better ping rate. All you have to do is download it, use my link down below. I may have some free keys available as well. Once you get in, go ahead and go to Fortnite, go ahead and select the server, choose your server. We're looking for US. And then we're going to look for the lowest number, so 13. Click Optimize This Game. We're going to go choose Back, and you're going to see Optimize Now. Make sure you select the cog up here. And here you have Boost FPS. You want to make sure this is turned on. This is going to help your FPS. So this app does two things. One, boosts your FPS, so it gives you best frames per second with the settings they have. You just turn it on, and it will automatically do it every time this opens. Second, it gives you really good ping. What it does is it has its own servers, like a VPN, and it goes to the quickest route that's faster than your current route. It also has many backup systems, so if it does go ahead and have a problem, it just switches over. It tries to keep it as stable as possible.